Mr. Toad. Do something, Bigby. Before he completely tears up the place. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid c- <laughs> <laughs> You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. I promise. Thank you. For trusting me. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Come with me. No. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. No, I'm D. He's dumb. You're gonna tell me right now. I'm Dad! I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Holly, you're out of paper towels and the... They're gonna string me up, baby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. You said you wouldn't hurt me. You said you wouldn't run. This fucking lap dog. He comes sniffing around this part of town. The rich fucks in the woods need to shake that. Ain't that right, Big B? Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. We back at it, y'all. Episode two. We about to get into this. Look at his face. Mr. Wolf. Wait, what? Okay. I thought he was tripping. You're making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'll be better when I find who did this. I can't do while sitting in here. We all want the same thing here, Big B. Look. I can't believe it. I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. That's very helpful. Thank you. Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah, I know. I just said that. Is there something? Do you hear that? <gasps> please, please. <gasps> what is going on? Uh, I'm sorry. Just make it stop, please. What did you do to her? What's going on? Why are you here? What the fuck is going on? You what should be that? thanking me. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. 
The whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. That was freaky. <laughs> That was really freaky. Cause you, cause Telltale man, Telltale will like do some freaky stuff. <laughs> oh my God. Crane came and got us. It's a little quiet in here. Thank you for the bell off. Thanks for the ride. This doesn't change anything. Thanks for bailing me out. Certainly. We uh, found the woodsman chained up to a post last night. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks to you, there's been at least some hope in this whole dreadful affair. I'm confident he has some information about the slayings. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him. And he's already to the point of confession. He was involved. You know what? I want to speak on this. So, the woodsman, right? I feel like... I feel like he is not really who I should go after. I was really hard on him last time, I must admit, because like, look what he did to Faith. So he seemed very, very suspicious. He seemed like the prime suspect. But now that I look at my choices when I was editing the video, I think it might be someone else that we have not seen yet. Um, I don't want to say who, but I have an idea of who it might be. But yeah, I think I'm going to take it a little easier on the woodsman. And yeah, see where it goes from there. So let's go. He was involved, definitely. That much we can tell from his babbling. He just must have had some sort of accomplice. I'm actually not so sure about that. You don't think yeah. he's involved? <laughs> he was with me whenever the... Uh... Never exactly. Left that's the stairs. That's another reason yes, but too. All that means is he didn't do it alone. Mm, I don't know. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss it too. never get more homesick than when one of us dies. Now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah, it's hard. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, Everything's gotten so confused. Did she, um, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She just told me to be careful. She and was I... always fond of you. And I told her to be careful, too. Which was like foreshadowing. I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby, for Miss White. I got it. <laughs> Damn. As I can. I met a maid who asked my trade, a sailor John, said I, and away you 
Santi, my dear Annie. Oh, you New York girls, can't you dance the polka? Look sharp, Woodsman. You have visitors. Why is he singing? Some sort of pathetic defensive mechanism. Never mind that, though. He will tell us eventually who killed Snow White. I have too many methods to inspire him. Bluebeard, I told you not to touch him until we oh, return. Oh, Bluebeard? I didn't. Well, barely. And yet you saw fit to retrieve it. It's hardly been used. Yet. Hello, Sheriff. Come. Is it just me? Or does he sound like Lee? Just a, just a, just Come a thing. To help. He sounds because like Lee. I think I have a secure handle on things. Help? No. I'll be doing the questioning from now on. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Let me tell the story. I can tell it all. About the mountain boy who ran illegal alcohol. <sighs> Woody. That you, Bigby? I didn't kill that girl, Wolf. And I don't have a thing to tell you, so get me the fuck out of these straps. Save your energy. You'll need it later. I know you know something. And we can't let you go until you tell us exactly what that is. Snow White is dead. I'll tell you what I already told this, Blue Dandy. I didn't kill anybody. I, I can't tell you anything. You can't or you won't. Look, I got questions and I know you have answers. Whether or not they're the answers I want, well, I guess we'll find out. Why did you hurt Faith? Why did you run? Yeah, you Why did your friend off? hide you? I asked for you at the bar and your friends acted like you weren't there. Why would they do that? Look, I got nothing to say, so just... just let me go. Please, just let me go. Do you see now what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this? I'll take care of it. What are you planning to do, exactly? Don't forget what we talked about. Break him. What did you tell him? We must do whatever it takes just talk. to find the killer. Yes. I just want to talk. See what he knows. Yeah. Don't give me a break. We need answers, Bigby. Though it's ultimately up to you, of course. All right. So I have, I have to take a piss, I think. I'm not gonna hit him. Why did your friends hide you? Start talking or else I understand what you're feeling. Okay, I wanna know why, why did they hide you? Friends hiding you. I didn't do anything. Hmm. That. You want to know what this is? Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Take a good fucking look. Take a good long look. Etch it into your fucking memory. I told you, I have no goddamn clue about what's going on. I, I didn't have nothing to do with it. You want to tell me now why your friends covered for you? They're scared of you. That's all there is to it. And they didn't want trouble for me. I didn't kill nobody, all right? I didn't. You told me he was at the point of confession. He was. He is. He said Snow wasn't even supposed to be there. Now, what do you exactly take that for? He knows what's happening. All right, that's something. Did you say that, Woody? Where are you talking about? Where was she supposed to be? What was supposed to happen? She was... Nothing. Nothing was supposed to happen. It's my own shit, all right? Just forget it. Where's... where's my stuff? I want to smoke. You, you took my smokes. We, uh, <laughs> confiscated his belongings. For took the time being. This was all we could find on him in any case. Nothing exceptional to speak of. Much like the man himself, I'd Bluebeard kind of fine. I ain't gonna lie. 
I don't got a thing for bald heads, but he got the goatee, so it kind of kind of helps. <laughs> um. Okay. What about snow? I understand what you're feeling. Start talking, or else. What did I pick last time? Snow wasn't supposed to be where at the woodlands. This. Just leave it alone, all right? I don't want to hit him yet. Can we move this along? If you need because where was Snow supposed to be? We can't leave until you talk, Woodsman. You gotta talk to me because Crane yeah. and Bluebeard, they think you're shit. Let's be a little soft but on you. I think I don't know what that feels like to be the bad guy. To know you're just trying your fucking best and to still get shit on day and night. Yeah, I know you do, Wolf. Don't you want to find out what happened to those girls? To Snow White? Let me handle this. Yeah, be quiet. Tell me what you meant by Snow wasn't supposed to be there. You've got it all wrong. I, I can't. Just leave it alone. I don't want to talk about it. Just a waste of fucking time. Woody, just tell us what you know, so you can go home. I didn't... I didn't say Snow, okay? I never said that. Yes, you did. She wasn't supposed to even be there. She, that's it. Not Snow. I, I don't know fucking anything about Snow. Okay, that's something. You weren't talking about Snow, but who did you mean? Who wasn't supposed to be there? I... I can't get into it. Okay. What is up with people not telling me stuff? Tired. What's the next dialogue I could get out of him? Help me help you. Start talking or else. Who were you talking about? Who were you talking about, huh? Who? That was my own fault. But, uh, it, it's not about the killings. It's not. Help me help you. Tell me who you're... Okay. Who wasn't supposed to be there? Who are you talking about? Help me help you, Woody. Let me get you out of here. I'm getting pretty sleepy, Sheriff. Looks like your good cup game is played out. That's literally the role I'm trying to play right now. <laughs> You're better than this, Woody. Just help us. I hope this I'd is working. I'd tell you something if there was something to tell. Come on, Big B. You have other options. Use them. It's obvious he's not giving anything up this way. Come on, just give us something to go on here. You say you had nothing to do with it, then prove it. I don't know what you think I know, but there's just... There's nothing there, Sheriff. This isn't working, Big B. Okay. <sighs> this would go a lot quicker if you stop blaming me for the situation you're in. This ain't my fault can get you home. Just work with me here. I'd tell you something if there was something to tell. He knows more than this. He yeah. has to. I'm beginning to think he's just an idiot. Or he's trying to play like an idiot. I think... Okay. I didn't want to go here. Ow! Fucking Christ! I'm tied up here! Fuck! Big B! It'll be hard to justify this level of brutality is all I want to point out. I know you're upset about Snow, but- I'll handle this. Woody, who wasn't supposed to be there? The whore. And the rest of it is my own personal business, dog. So untie these straps and let me out. Tell us specifically who you're talking about. What whore? Faith, all right, that's it. Faith, this pup here knows. Faith? This has to do with faith? Someone else was supposed to show up, and this bitch I don't even know comes over. Who were you expecting? No damned <gasps> idea. What was the plan? Who's behind this? You're really enjoying this, aren't you, Wolf? Who did talking you about want to show up, and why? What was this about? What were you up to?
Just wait for me, start talking or else. Right. What did you want to happen? Who was supposed to show up? If you don't start talking, and I mean fast, you'll pray to any god who'll listen that your mother never shit you into this fucking world. You won't do shit with the deputy there. I'm done with this whole fucking thing, Bigby. I need answers. Like now. <laughs> This is the only way I can get answers. Fucking asshole! Get me out of this goddamn chair! Who were you expecting? Big B, really, this has gone far enough. Who was it? Tell me. Was it Beauty? Lily. Who's Lily? Lily? Who's Lily? Lily is uh, Holly's sister. Holly, the bartender from the Trip Trap. Oh. Her sister's. Yeah, detective. Her sister's a prostitute. I was a regular of hers, okay? I paid, she did her thing, and that was it. When Faith came to the door, it just set me off. Lily usually comped me if I didn't have cash. Fucking bitch Faith didn't have any decency. So, Lottie, fucking dog, congrats. You cracked the case wide open, shithead. Sheriff, that is it, okay? I just... I have to put a stop to this. I warned you earlier, and you haven't listened. And now it's just truly gone too far. The man has rights. His rights are on temporary leave. Bluebeard, that's enough now. This is for Snow. This is for me. Snow deserves justice, Crane. You're not thinking right. of the bigger picture here. You never think out the ramifications for things. Beating information out of someone will simply never get the people aligned with us. I dare say this is the exact kind of infantile rashness that got Miss White killed. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, Fuck you. yeah. I only meant, you know. You know who I am? What's the big bad wolf? Huh? Okay, either Big B, Big B is tripping. Or is this a hallucination? Okay, I'm not gonna pause no more. Yo, what is going on? Smoke and mirrors. <sighs> Is this all a hallucination? Is this all in Big V's head? Because I've been kind of thinking that. Is she really alive? What the hell was going on down there, Big V? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you were dead. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? I hope it was worth your time. Where the hell have you been? You really scared us. How are how are you not dead? Where the hell have you been all night, Snow? I was working on this case. After but a conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. <laughs> he said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. Hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. Or at least to figure out who she is. If it's not Faith's body. I don't know what to say. I'm glad you took care of things. But. Thanks. Snow? What is it? Are you okay? I should talk to TJ. I'm glad you're alive. Are, are you gonna be okay? I mean, uh, with all that's happened. I'll be fine. I just want to get to the bottom of this. Me too. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. It's about you. It's not your fault. You need to be careful. If someone wants you dead, at some point they'll realize they missed their target. 
and they'll come looking for me. We just have to find out who did this, and why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? I'll figure it out. We keep working. You should lie low. Oh, I If we're going to work together on this, you need to actually talk to me. I mean, what do you expect me to do? Sit around the business office twiddling so my thumbs, I'm the waiting sheriff. for the big bad you wolf to solve all my problems? It's too dangerous out there. Too dangerous? Big B, I- Calm down. <laughs> I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm not yours to lose. Okay. I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too, you know... Wolfie? <laughs> uh, I can handle it. I can handle the kid. Okay. None of this is making sense to me. Like, I've seen her severed head on a step, and she's right here in front of me. Something, some, something's not right. Something ain't right. TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I, I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. Oh, that's enough. Uh, Mira, finish, cancel! No. What the hell are you doing? Don't even get started with me, Sheriff. What's going on? I saw what you did down there. Is that how you treat your prisoners? So you're on the his side. The woodsman may be a good for nothing drunk, but that don't mean you can just whack him around because you feel like it. You scared the shit out of me, little boy. He saw everything. You didn't have okay, to show him Mr. that. Toad. No. Why were you spying? It's none of your business. And what did you expect to see? I thought maybe I'd catch you on the shitter. But I saw something worse. What the fuck? <laughs> That's enough. Why would you want to see me doing that? <laughs> Mr. Toad, I deeply regret the distress this has caused you and your son. But right now, we need to carry on with the investigation. I will be happy to speak with you about your concerns later, but you must understand how urgent this is. We need to talk to TJ. This ain't over, Big B. What does that mean? Dude, you're, a, you're like a two-foot frog. TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? <laughs> Watch yourself, Big B. You do anything to hurt me, boy. I'm it's really okay. gonna do none to your kid. Start at the beginning. This won't take long. You okay? Are you okay? Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes, in the river. I wasn't doing anything bad, I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. You're okay. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. Down by the river. <laughs> I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. Like toads That's right, do. Son. Just like what toads usually do. Then I do. saw, I I saw the lady. <laughs> oh, comfort him. It's okay. Take your time. Hurry up. Take your time. The lady fell in, but but she didn't have her head on. I He's thought. 
I thought she was gonna pull me down too. <laughs> she sounds like Cause, Clementine. Cause she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark part. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? Do you know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Yeah, it's my special power. I always <laughs> know when people aren't telling me the truth. Is there something else you want to say? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I, I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it. I gave you very specific rules. You're you not have to stay you quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you. It's dangerous out there. <laughs> if someone saw you, you're not in trouble. Like Ellie's not. Not this time, Toad. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know if anyone saw me, but, but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Stop Wait, laughing. You heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. Did you hear anyone laughing? No. <laughs> Were those the same words they used? Stop laughing? Try to remember exactly what they said. They said, they said, stop laughing at me. <laughs> See anyone? Let him go. Whose voices? Was it like a female? Do you know whose or, voice it was? Or a guy? No! Bigby, he's frightened. Did you see who it was? I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home, that's all. I promise. I want to go home. <laughs> okay, you can go. <laughs> Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. <laughs> Let's get you home. You did a good job, kid. Come on, then. Say I can be a softy. I'm not the big bad wolf 24-7. <laughs> that went about as well as I expected. <sighs> you want to go look at the body now? I love the babies. What was that? In a minute. When you're ready. Okay, so I wanted to talk about one thing I noticed. Is this gonna do anything yet? No? One thing I noticed in episode one is no one is saying nothing. Like, even the mirror can't tell me a thing. Hey, mirror. Hello, Big B. Nice to see you. What was Toad watching? Did you know Snow was alive? I would like to know you if you know that. You probably knew Snow was alive the whole time, didn't you? Possibly so, but the moment has passed. You didn't rhyme. And you never asked. But as you know, I'm quite prolific if you want me to show you someone specific. Mm -hmm. Show me Tweedledee, show me Lily, show me Tweedledum. Um... Mirror, mirror, show me Lily. And yeah. I think this rhyming thing is silly. Some things cannot be revealed. Once again, these lips are sealed. That's what I'm talking Figures. about. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Show me Tweedledee. Okay, Mirror. Can you see? Where the fuck is Tweedledee?
What's he doing? Where can I find Tweedle Dunn? Uh, that piece of scum. Ew. Ew. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> mirror, mirror, show me Holly the troll, or uh, I'll throw you down a hole. No okay. need for threats. So Holly's a troll. So that's what she was or is. Because I'm like, what the hell? All right, that's it for the mirror. But anyways, like I was saying, um, pretty much someone has Fable Town like on lock. And I don't think that the Big Bad Wolf, a.k.a. Bigsby, is the scariest guy in town because no one is telling me anything like what's this oh those cards um yeah like everyone is scared of somebody and it's not bigsby bigby i'm saying his name so wrong it's not just bigby i think that's it for in here though so i guess we can leave So, check out anyone who fits that profile. You might start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. Are you ready to examine the body now? Let's go. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot. Come on. <sighs> so... We gotta figure out who this killer is because I'm s I am don't think the woodsman is as bad as he seems. Like, I, I, I'm confused. <laughs> I, I honestly don't know what to think. But someone is terrorizing Fable Town because no one is telling me anything. Wow. I didn't realize I've never seen her face before now. This is weird. Yeah. The glamour is so effective, it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. Isn't there like a quote or a saying like a fable never dies? So is that why she's here, but she's still alive? I could be wrong, but I think I've heard that saying before, like a fable never dies or whatever. So she did get killed, but that's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. They're saying her. Like it's not like it's not Snow White. I'm, I'm... Check her <laughs> mouth. There might be a ribbon in there. Like before. Wait, so is Faith really dead then? Anything? Nothing. Can you close her mouth? Thanks. I'm so confused right now. Like, I'm so confused. She got a scratch on her leg. Rope marks. Oh, she was tied up? They tied cinder blocks to her ankles, so she would sink. Oh. Track marks. She used Monday drugs? Looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms, or if they're trying to hide the marks. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? 
That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? So it wasn't her. I've never seen one this sloppy. It might be a cheap one, just to get the job done. The witches upstairs know what they're doing. That's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. Let me read these fables because I haven't read them and then maybe I'll get a better understanding of what glamour is and how it works because if it's even in here. Is this Fable Town? Okay, so is there anything in here about glamour? Okay, there's okay here we go glamours are spells that allow the user to change the appearance they are expensive and they are expensive but can be purchased by non-human fables in order to pass for human beings the mundies oh cheap glamour can be found in the cedar in the seedier parts of fable town but they are often unreliable and prone of sudden failure oh okay what is this guy Grendel. Grendel just wants to be left alone in the old days. He terrorized nursemaid halls, but lately he can be found occupying a stool in various quite dumpy bars around New York. He hates the noise of the city, but must work there to afford his glamour. Oh, so this is all making sense now. Okay, despite his gruff bearing, he fiercely he's fiercely loyal to those who have learned to offer him the space and silence he desires. Talking to him is like watching a time bomb tick down. It's only a matter of time. All right, so it's all making sense. That's all I wanted to know. Okay, so. Oh, her hand. Did I look at that? Fist is clenched. No, so didn't. she fought back? No marks on the knuckles. Oh. Maybe she was grabbing something? Maybe. Probably open her fist, leave it alone. As long as he doesn't break doing? it. Only don't break it. Find out. Oh, don't break it. Jesus, Bigby. What? Is it? Flowers. Yeah. Okay, lilac. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder. What? What? Mind if I open her coat? Nothing. Forget it. I need to open her coat. Snow, do you mind if I, uh, Open her coat. Bigby, just let me do it. Are you still okay? I... Well, I certainly hope you're behaving yourself up here now that you're done punching people. What have you found out? She was drunk because her glamour isn't perfect. I'm well, not her glamour is defective. Defective? We are thinking it's black market. We should really be regulating this kind of thing. Yes. We should keep going don't worry snow white i'm not gonna judge you for your underwear sweetheart
use What this? is that? It's your perfume. How do you know what perfume I wear? <laughs> you can't fool this nose. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. So that's that bad glamour, I guess. And they tried to repackage it in a different bottle. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Don't you think? You may be right. One way to find out. I feel like Crane is what? trying to play it cool. There's something in here. But he might be a little guilty. I don't want to stand back. Not sure yet. Can't figure it out. Might want to stand back if you're worried, Crane. I'm gonna try to open it. Something to do with these rings here. Alright, so I gotta match it up. Wait, did that go together? No. Go back. Oh shit. Okay. No, I didn't mean to go over there. Looks like a horse or a pig. Was that a deer? a deer? It is. What does that mean? Oh. A strip of hair and a picture of a woman. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think this was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Somebody just. I guess it's my hair. Yeah. Who did this, Big Pete? 